was good I'm the real deal and in today's video we are going to get organized become more effective more efficient and we're gonna create some templates to make our beat making process a lot easier let's go all right check it out I got this for Christmas it's Darth Vader because I belong to the dark side it's a uh, lightsaber chopsticks and it's ramen it's everything I love you guys know what today is today's Star Wars day may the fourth be with you anyways if you're new to the channel welcome I highly encourage you to subscribe turn on the notification bell and please give the video a thumbs up so people can see the video and be like yo the video's kind of dope like the shirt's kind of dope a Darth Vader ramen bowl with lightsaber chopsticks that's awesome this shirt is proof that there are people out there that like the same shit that you like. You'd be surprised what you find out there. Like, I hope I get to find like a DeLorean t-shirt and it's like a DeLorean and it's full of cheeseburgers or something. Anyways, when I started making a beat, I started looking for sounds like kicks and drums and snares and shit. And that kind of takes up my time. <laughs> I'm looking for like the perfect snare and I'm looking for the perfect hit. Not the perfect hit. I'm looking for the perfect hi-hat. And I'm looking for the perfect kick. I'm looking for all these things. And they're t these things are time-consuming. So, uh, for those of you that don't know, for those of you that are lazy like me because you guys just like to procrastinate, what's up? Welcome to the squad. Um, there is a way to make things a little easier. You can facilitate things by creating a template. So, today what we're going to do is we are going to create a drum rack template so that the next time I make a beat makes my life a lot easier so I kind of know how to do it so I'm gonna show you guys what we're gonna do and uh, obviously we're gonna make a beat let's go what is good homie all right so we have Ableton opened up and basically we have a little drum rack and this is connected to my little Akai and PT 218 that I got last week and yeah this is how we are going to start creating our drum pad so the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to find the perfect kick, the perfect snare, and the perfect hi-hat, close hi-hat, open hi-hat, and maybe like one or two perk sounds. And then we're going to save this. We're going to lock this in, and this is going to be my go-to boom bap drum rack. So every time I open up Ableton, I just click on this one, and then this is the one I'm going to use every single time. We're going to go to Splice, because y'all know I love Splice. This video is not sponsored by Splice, by the way. All right, so uh, we are going to go to instruments, drums, and we're going to start with kicks. And we're going to find the perfect kick. Okay, so this is a contender. That one has too much snare in it. No. That one's okay. So this one, this one. Let's start with this one. Let's see if this is our go-to. So we're gonna put it in the slot, and now. All right, let's move on to snare. So let's find a snare. No. Okay, so this is a contender. Let's go with this one. All right, so we put it in the slot, and now, all right, so now we have kick, snare, kick, snare. All right, cool. All right, moving on to hi-hats. For hi-hats, I want something sharp, like, tss, tss, like sharp. Tss. And then I want one that's just like, obviously a little more relaxed. What's the opposite of sharp? Y'all let me know. Uh, tss, tss, tss. Maybe like a shaker and then an open hand, so let's see. Okay, so I like this one for my open hi-hats. So we're gonna put this one right here, so. This one, this this one right here, Mob Deep Shook ones. That's what it sounds like to me. So we're gonna keep this one for now. And then we'll put it back up. All right, so now that we have our ideal We have our drum, we have our drum rack set up. Let's add a clap, and I think we're good. So let's get a clap and then a percussion. So this, what I just created right here, is going to be my boom bap drum template. So what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to rename this and we're going to type in boom bap. To do is we're going to click on this little thing right here and it's going to save it. And it's saved as boom bap. That's it. So then what we're going to do is we're going to add it to the template folders, templates folder. So now as you can see, I already created the lo-fi one and now I have a boom bap one. So whenever I want to create a boom bap beat, I'm just going to add this to MIDI files and then I have, boom, I have my template for that specific type of beat. If I want to make a lo-fi one, then I just drag this one in there and then you'll see that it changes. All right, so now let's make a beat. up with an intro so let's record the intro let's fix it all right guys that's the beat Something in there needs to be fixed. I'll probably fix it by the time I put the video up and I edit it all together and it sounds better. But uh, anyways, um, yeah, there you have it. I went ahead and I showed you guys how to create a template for your drums. That's going to be it for today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And like always, do not sleep on me. I love y'all.